What is mathematical modeling? When most people think about the work of scientists and engineers, they think of people in white lab coats who do experiments with test tubes, or people who observe stars and planets with powerful telescopes, or people who tinker until they've built a better mousetrap. Experiments and observation are certainly important parts of research, but there is also a third way that scientists and engineers work. Mathematical modeling. Math is the language scientists use to describe the world. Consider gravity. You might describe the way gravity works on Earth as what goes up must come down. A scientist might describe Earth's gravity like this. Which means that an object falling close to Earth's surface increases its velocity by 9.81 meters per second every second. Multiplying that number by the number of seconds falling will tell you the velocity it gained during that time. That is a mathematical model, a way in which to describe something about the world with math. Of course, scientists and engineers use mathematical models that are much more complex. This is because they are describing and predicting much more complex things like weather, climate, earthquakes, the formation of galaxies, the spread of diseases, the interaction of molecules, the movement of traffic in big cities, and much more. Think about how many variables affect the formation of a tornado. Temperature, wind speed, direction, precipitation, and more. And then we have to think about how all those relate to each other and how they change over time. It's so complex and involves so many mathematical calculations that it can't be solved with pencil or paper, or even a single computer. To study something as complex as weather, you need a super fast, super powerful supercomputer. Supercomputers can help solve complex physics, biology, chemistry, economics, psychology, and engineering problems. NCSA's Blue Water supercomputer can do quadrillions of calculations every second. If you challenge Blue Waters to a math race, in the first second, the supercomputer would finish thousands of trillions of calculations, while even the smartest, fastest human math expert would have only finished one. It would take a person millions of years to do the number of calculations that Blue Waters can do in one second. When you have a lot of calculations, or a lot of data, or both, supercomputers are the way to go.